Years from now, you may find this picture in my tennis photo album or one that I would share with family and friends. Even though this photo captures a memorable moment and it felt amazing to hold that trophy, it doesn't actually truly represent how I have grown as a tennis player or as a person. Picture this, mature, 14-year-old Vanessa lying on the grass beside the car, crying and yelling about how terrible of a tennis player she is because she just lost to an opponent that she really, really, really wanted to win against. Yes, that did happen. Yes, kind of embarrassing. You will definitely not find any photos of that cry session, but experiences like those are far more influential in my growth as an athlete. Today, I want to share the story of the photos nobody captured, the days when I lost my matches and I didn't get to hold a trophy, when I would have screamed at my mom if she even tried to take a picture of me because of the tears streaming down my face. Those moments have taught me what it truly means to win, what it truly means to play freely, and what it truly means to have a purpose. They have shaped me into who I am today. Ambition, persistence, determination. These are three of the many key factors essential to winning in tennis, ones I continue to learn each time I step on the court. At first glance, tennis may seem like a game determined by physical strength, how fast you can run or how hard you can hit the ball. However, Tennis is actually full of mental strength, and a player's mindset can be the difference between victory and defeat. Venus Williams, former number one in the world and one of the all-time greats of women's tennis, once said, Tennis is mostly mental. You win or lose the match before you even go out there. So I have been playing tennis for around five years and competitively for only three. When I first started competing, my mindset was centered around winning. Whenever I played a match, I was always faced with the fear of what would happen if I didn't win. However, players who consistently win recognize the downfall of being shackled by fear, pressure, and anxiety. And by focusing on an uncontrollable outcome, I found myself constrained by these emotions, unable to play freely. When I feel this sense of fear, my muscles begin to shiver. It takes over your entire body and you feel hijacked because you can't seem to play the tennis that you know you can. Last year, my mom and I flew out to Toronto so I could compete in a tournament. And then we drove five and a half hours to Montreal to train with the coach and then drove another two hours to Ottawa to compete in a second tournament. So basically my mom was my Uber driver. Shout out to you mom if you're watching this. So um, in Ottawa, I competed in my second match of the qualifying draw. And this is when my fear began to creep in. After playing super well in the first set. I could see the finish line and I knew I could win this match. My mindset shifted towards the outcome and I began playing to avoid losing at all costs. I told myself to just get the ball in and don't miss. I didn't commit to my shots or attack the way I knew I could. I let my fear take over. Take a guess at what happened. I lost the second set and eventually I lost the match. When I stepped off that court and looked at my mom, I thought of how long and hard of a journey we had to take so I could compete here. Yet, I couldn't even win this match just to get past the qualifying draw. I felt embarrassed, frustrated, and furious, almost as if my whole world had shattered. We drove back to the hotel and I locked myself in the bathroom and I remember just sitting there and crying for like two hours because I was so angry and disappointed in myself. 
the countless hours of hard work and training, all the support my parents gave me and the investment they put into traveling and coaching, all of that felt like it just vanished into thin air because I did not win. Looking back now, I realized that I was playing with the wrong mindset during this match. Every game, point, and shot, I was hitting with the intent to not lose. I was swarmed by this fear because I was so focused on winning rather than what was happening in the moment. I was trapped to only hitting the ball to stay in the match instead of going after my shots. In a tennis match, we know that the future exists, but we don't know what's gonna happen in the next game or the next point. And this uncertainty creates fear and anxiety. In order to overcome this, I needed to shift my mindset onto what I can control, which is where I wanted to hit my shot in the present moment. So after leaving Ottawa, I told myself that instead of draining my energy with regret and what ifs, I'm going to redirect my energy and use this loss as an opportunity to learn and grow. I pulled myself back together and continued to train and work hard, went on to compete in more tournaments, won more matches, and got into nationals. Losing this match taught me to be more fearful of not taking action, of not hitting that backhand down the line or that drop shot. In life, we have to take action and overcome that fear because if we never try, we can't succeed. And just like Wayne Gretzky once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. When we are young, Failure seems like something you should hide and be ashamed of. Why not change your mindset of failure as a learning opportunity to grow? The next time things don't go your way, learn from it and use it as a stepping stone for your next attempt to fulfilling your goals. If I ask myself today, what is my purpose in life? My answer is pretty simple, tennis. Not only winning in tennis, but growing as a player and improving my game tactics. My purpose is being able to walk off the court after every practice and match or and knowing that I was able to overcome my fear and that I gave 100% of my effort and hit each shot with intent and purpose. In life, this purpose has inspired me to live with a strong sense of meaning. It's helped me understand that if you want to grow as an athlete or person and succeed in life, failure is inevitable. So earlier I told you that ambition, determination, and persistence were um, three of the many key factors to winning in tennis. Ironically, I think my failures have helped me grasp these ideas better than my victories have. Failure in tennis and in all aspects of life isn't going to discourage me because I know that failure is just a speed bump towards success. And so I encourage you to take risks, commit to your decisions, Discover your own purpose or what you're passionate about and overcome that fear of failure. Thank you.